I'm Jill Shonk and I'm Access and Learning Team Leader here at Gloucestershire Archives. So Jill, I understand you're about to launch a project called Gloucestershire Remembers World War I. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? The Gloucestershire Remembers World War I project is led by the Everyman Theatre and we are one of the main partners and it's really all about helping people to remember the Great War at a local level. So now we've covered off obviously the partners who are involved in it, what about funding? Where's the funding coming from for the project? Well we have several funders, in total there's about £86,000 worth of funding, 59000 of which has come from the Heritage Lottery Fund and is funding the activities that the Archive Service is involved in amongst other things. And that includes funding for a project officer, Ollie Taylor, who is going to be based here at the Archives from November. And you, you said as well about the there is some funding pot available for communities as well to do their own projects. Can you just tell us again a little bit more about that? Yes, the Heritage Lottery Fund has set aside um, a grant stream that is dedicated solely to World War I and community organisations or individuals are able to bid for anything between three and ten thousand pounds for World War I related activities. And can you actually help them with putting together their bids for that funding? Is that, is that part of the project? Yes, we can help them to develop project bids and to deliver their projects either independently or another option would be to um, broker partnerships whereby several parish councils, for example, might like to get together and go for a joint bid for a larger sum. So um, given that you're starting up some of your activities around in November, December time, if people are interested in getting involved in this project, what can they do now? How can they find out more? Well, we're, put, we're currently putting information onto the archives website that will show them just how to go about doing their research activities. And the address for that is www.gloucestershire.gov.uk forward slash archives forward slash WW1. And you've done this kind of project before, haven't you? These sort of community projects where you encourage the local community to contribute their own reminiscences and memorabilia and nostalgia. So I imagine you've got quite a lot of experience in this. Yes. We run a project advisory service here at the Archives where we support communities who are interested in doing their own heritage projects. Um, we offer them advice in writing bids for funding applications and help them to train their volunteers to undertake their own heritage activities and to look after heritage materials. So we will also offer this service as part of our World War I Remembers, Gloucestershire well, Remembers One. We'll also offer this service as part of our Gloucestershire Remembered World War I project. So in addition to our own project with the funding that we have to help communities, we're also able to support communities to access their own funding to do their own mini projects. And so some of that will be, I suppose, scanned and, and put online on, on the website that you're planning on, on doing. And some of it will then be held here at Archives. And so it sounds like you're also planning on recording people's memories and that kind of thing. And those sorts of things will appear on the website too. Is that right? Yeah, we'll support communities to record their own memories and to make that available in a variety of ways. So we'll run training and put online information up about, for example, how do you carry out reminiscence activities, um, how might you go about doing a, a commemorative event or designing an exhibition, and what are your options for putting your information online as well. You, you said about um, protecting this for future generations, which is obviously a key part of any of these kind of projects. Will you be doing any work with schools or um, lesson planning, that kind of thing, to ensure that this gets shared with young people? Yes, there are a couple of education um, activities woven into the project um, activity plan. The first is to help schools carry out research into servicemen who fought in the war and the impact of the war on communities. And the second actually takes some of the findings that people have discovered through doing this research and then uses that to create curriculum resources. And I know that you said earlier that um, it's part of a wider project with various partners and I'm aware that this is only one of the strands. Can you tell us about some of the other activity that's going on and some of the other partners involved in the project? Yes, the Everyman Theatre are going to be doing performances 
and workshops based around the information that we find out through the community research activities. The Cheltenham Art Gallery and Museum will be putting on an exhibition of their World War I material and the Soldiers of Gloucester Museum are adding to their database um, much more detail about the war dead from World War One.